if you want a way to get into cybersecurity and you're not technical, let's talk about security auditing. Listen, there's no blueprint for getting into this field. There's no right way. There's no wrong way. It's what works for you. No blueprint. The buzz, however, is definitely people who want to be a penetration tester, an ethical hacker, someone who ethically hacks to help companies discover vulnerabilities before the bad guys do. However, it's very competitive. Anyone can achieve it, but it's not the only path into cybersecurity. So let's talk security auditing. Let me start by making it clear. You do not, and I say you do not, have to be super technical to get into security auditing. There are many auditing frameworks out there, but today I'm going to talk about the NIST cybersecurity framework. If you learn this framework, you can go far. What is it? The NIST cybersecurity framework integrates industry standards and helps best practices with organizations to manage their cybersecurity risks. Companies like Microsoft, Boeing, Intel, huge companies have adopted these types of frameworks. I don't have to break down each and every single control today, but I'm going to break it down into at least five high-level categories for you to understand, and then you can learn each one on your own. If you can learn what these five categories are about and understand them, you will have a great start in the world of security auditing. The first one identify. This is the process of making sure companies identify what their digital assets are. As one example, under this category, most companies that I've done auditing for almost never have an up-to-date systems inventory list. If they don't have a complete list of their digital assets, like system systems, software, things like that, how can they protect them? You simply can't protect what you don't know you have. Next category, is protect. This is the process of safeguarding systems by wrapping security controls around them. Examples are security patching, hardening standards that define safe processes for implementing new systems, access control, awareness training, things like that. The next one, detect. What intrusion detection and prevention systems are in place to detect anomalies or breaches on a company's network? Are system logs being stored? telling us who logged into what. Next category, respond. Is there an incident response plan in place? What playbook is in place to respond once a breach is detected? Is this plan practice? Are there scenarios being conducted to test the strength of this plan? If not, the plan is no good. Next category, recover. How will the company recover if systems are knocked down or taken offline? Are there off-site backups or replication? Does the organization have a business continuity plan to keep going? These controls go very deep. Many organizations, they don't understand them, and you, as a security auditor, can study these and have the ability to help walk a business through them. It certainly doesn't take a certification to learn and help an organization by understanding these. It is a great start into the auditing field. There's many types of frameworks, such as PCI, which covers the protection of credit cards. I'll save that for another video. But until then, you don't have to be super technical to get into this field. You can get into this field, work from home, and start from the ground and go from there. Learn how to communicate. Be the conduit between technical people and non-technical people. Learn these controls Help businesses, especially the SMBs and small to medium-sized businesses, get through these controls to help them build out a security program. If you like this video, subscribe. I got more coming.